It is funding the biggest obstacle standing between you, your idea, business, or a project that you're so passionate about. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some of the organizations, platforms, and opportunities that actively give money to entrepreneurs and businesses across Africa. These are the organizations you should be targeting if you are looking for grants, loans, or equity investments for your idea or business. Most of these opportunities are ongoing and applications for registrations are open. So I am going to leave a link below for you to register and have the chance to obtain grants for your business. If you are new to this channel, I would like you to subscribe and click on the notification icon. And if you have any questions you want us to help you out with, you can drop a comment below. Number one on our list, Seed Start Africa. Seed Start Africa is an early stage venture capital fund that funds high green businesses that are operational in sub Saharan Africa. It has invested and networked with African businesses in over 14 countries. Every year, Seed Start sponsors a series of local and international competitions which level up to the Seed Start World Competition, where the overall winner of these competitions get compensated with $500,000 to fund their businesses. Seed Start has invested in startups like Digital Rental, Simple Pay, Giraffe, AgroCenter, both at the local and international level of the competitions. Alumni of Seed Start have raised more than $250 million in additional funding from investors. Even if you don't win the Seed Start competition, you still get extra benefits like business training and network. Seed Start generally funds businesses surrounding technology. One thing you should know is Seed Start is highly competitive. You will have to compete with other entrepreneurs from the local level right up to the international level. So you have to be really good at pitching your idea or business. The second funding opportunity I would like to share with you is the Tony Elomelo Entrepreneurship Program, TEF. The Tony Elomelo Entrepreneurship Program is a 10-year, $100 million commitment to identify, train, mentor, and fund 10,000 African entrepreneurs. The program was founded by Mr. Tony Elomelo, a successful Nigerian banker, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. The program's objective is to generate at least 1 million new jobs and create at least 10 billion in new business revenue across Africa. Now in its fifth year, the Tony Elomelo Entrepreneurship Program has empowered over 4,460 entrepreneurs. Using a careful and robust selection, training and implementation process to create visible and sustainable impacts across all 54 African countries. The program accepts 1,000 entrepreneurs each year and takes them through a 12-week course where they are given access to non-refundable $5,000 in seed capital, business development training, one-on-one -on -one mentoring, access to TEF Connect Pan-African Meetups, TEF Network Memberships, and participation at the annual TEF Entrepreneurship Forum. Businesses can also get another $5,000 as equity or affordable loans if your business hits certain milestones. This program is freely open for entrepreneurs with new ideas or already existing business who are citizens to any African country.
The third funding source I want to talk about is the Oran Social Venture Prize. The Oran Social Venture Prize in Africa and Middle East is organized by Orange with two categories of prizes, the International Grand Prize and the Women's category. The Orange Group has been practically supporting business initiatives based on new information and communication technology in Africa and Middle East for many years. As such, since 2011, the competition rewards business ideas for launching a new product or service which meets the triple objectives of contributing to social development, developing an innovation offering, and integrating digital technology into entrepreneurship solution. The business idea should include an existing prototype or demo. Each project submitted would participate in the national phase of the competitions within its country of origin and the most promising project nominated up for the three national winners. The three national winners will qualify automatically without the need to resubmit their projects for the international grand prize. At the level of the international grand prize, three overall prize winners and the winner of the international women prize will get an award sum total of $70,000. This platform has been able to fund about 300 plus businesses across Africa. One downside about this opportunity is that it focuses only on technology innovation. So you need to have a solution related to information and technology. The fourth funding source is the CDC Group, which is now known as British International Investment. It is one of the longest active investors in businesses and projects across Africa. It is owned by the UK Government Department of International Development. The CDC Group to date has made a total portfolio of investment valued at over $7.1 billion in 681 businesses across Africa and 410 businesses in Asia. As at 2021, the CDC Group specializes in development finance, emerging market investment, microfinance and private equity investments. In November 2013, the CDC Group made investments of $13.1 million into Feronia, an agricultural production and processing company Democratic Republic of Congo. In 2019, the CDC Group invested $20 million in Aqua Power, which is the power developer responsible for building the 100 megawatt Redstone concentrated solar power project in South Africa. One major upside is that the CDC Group makes big investments of up to $10 million to a single project or business acting as a good source of funding for capital intensive businesses that is all we have for this video i would like you to subscribe if you're new to this channel so we will keep updating you with more knowledgeable content to grow your business in the next video i am going to introduce you to 10 ways you could raise funding for your business as a startup in africa I will also give you insights into how to prepare yourself for investors. Remember, in order for you to attract investment, you must be investment ready.